What's up, man? This gas mask. I'm on Lyric Breakdown 305. I'm from Miami. The 40s to be exact. I mean, I was raised by some gangsters. Like, I'm an 80s baby. So I grew up in like a totally different era. Me growing up, it was all about not being seen. It was more like about getting paper. I remember the first time I seen tents you couldn't see through. Like that shit was amazing to me. Like not being seen, like almost being like uh, the Cape Crusader or something. So that's the type of era I grew up in with gangsters was just like, it was an underworld type of thing. Now all the gangsters on uh, Instagram with their guns and shit is kind of, it's kind of different for me. How long it take me to write, write a song? I don't know, cause I used to be like a mad freestyler. But you, I could do a song about 30 minutes. If it's knocking, I could give you about 64 bars in a couple minutes. The song we gonna do is uh, Down and Out. My inspiration always the streets. My inspiration always like solid niggas. Niggas who got a, a, a story to tell. I think if I ain't see as much as I have seen, I won't have a story. So basically my inspiration is just like niggas who I lost, niggas who I look up to, niggas who I'm around daily, niggas who getting it, the niggas who stand they self. I wrote this shit so well. I was so far from everything I love. Down and out. I know what it feel like to be down and out. I had niggas that was down and out. I know niggas that down. Down and out, people being fake and thinking we not finding out. Can't let them block your light or keep you shining out. We so used to the struggling, what's all the whining about? And it seemed like they won't be satisfied until we down and out. I tell my babies keep smiling, what's the frown about? Everybody got opinions that we drowning out. Roadblocks everywhere and we still find a route. I think like my whole favorite line of the hook is like roadblocks everywhere and we still find a route. That's like real shit. Like, you know, they always say the road of life. When I was young, people used to be like, boy, it's a hard road. Meaning that, you know, life is kind of like a street. It got bumps in it, it got pitfalls, it got all type of shit. And sometimes when you a street nigga, a roadblock is like the worst thing you ever want to see in your life. I don't care if you got a gun in the car, you got a dope in the car, a roadblock is panic. So this for me to say roadblocks everywhere and we still find a route, that's almost like the ultimate metaphor of growing up anywhere. You know what I'm saying? And uh, when I tell my kids, keep smiling, what's the brand about? There's no need to cry. Like you always gonna have hard times. Like that just come with life. You ain't never gonna have a part of life that don't have hard times. I'm through making friends so I keep the number new. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, you gotta watch them niggas that be under you. I'd have been broke, I guess I was a bum with dignity. Hair high even when none of the hoes was digging me. Black and ugly as ever, you can see the big of me. That was me at that time, you know what I'm saying? Cause I had to have been to prison and niggas who I thought was my friends or niggas who say they your friends and you can't depend on them, that's just basically what that mean. You know what I'm saying? I'm through making friends. My number new, I don't get them. Weird ass niggas my number. You know what I'm saying? And you gotta watch the niggas that be under you. Basically that whole verse, that whole verse is just talking about how niggas kinda wanna see you down and out. Now that's an important line. Cause when I was young, like, black niggas wasn't in like that. Like, black ugly niggas, like hoes one of the niggas with the dreads and they was kinda light skinned though. So, I came up in the Biggie era, so when Biggie said, black and ugly as ever, however. Black and ugly as ever, however, I say Gucci down to the socks, rings and watch filled with rocks. Uh. Man, I felt like that was like the words from the savior. Like finally, a nigga who know he ugly too, but the hoes can't deny, you see, I was one of them young niggas, like a little ugly nigga, but I don't know, like the hoes couldn't say no. So I felt like, 
that that's part of being down and out too. Like it ain't all financial. It's just like growing up and having this situation that you overcome it. So that's why I said that. Hey man, if y'all looking for me, you can find me on Instagram at I am Gas Mask. You can find me on Facebook, Lanier Gasoline, Twitter. I'm everywhere. It's the same thing everywhere. Gas Mask, Gas underscore Mask on YouTube. Um, right now, I'm currently working on the mixtape, Gas Talk Part 1. I don't know. It might be a double disc. I also got my book coming up. Make sure y'all check it out, Unfell in Love. And you know, I'm going to just be in the street, man. Y'all make sure y'all get at me. This was Gas Mask, Lyric Breakdown 305. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. So I keep the number new. Nowadays, you gotta watch the niggas that be under you. The type that run away from trouble, but they always run to you. I always been the type to do the shit no one do. I'd have been broke, I guess I wasn't born with dignity. Head high, even when none of the hoes was digging me. Black and ugly as ever. You can see the big in me, my nerves.